Welcome back to Brave New Digital Classroom and Chapter 6, Distance Learning for Languages. Technology can be used in many ways to assist classroom activities or as the basis for a hybrid course where half of the instruction is in class, half of the instruction is through technology, or it can become the basis for the entire delivery format in an online course. This is what is commonly referred to as distance learning. Online courses are most effective when students can learn along with a cohort of other students who can interact and support each other. This makes having available a robust set of CMC tools very important, if not a sine qua non, for an online course. It's the glue of an online course. Now CMC, or Computer Mediated Communication, as we saw in Chapter 4, can either be asynchronous which is in deferred time, or synchronous, in real time. Both are useful for different reasons in an online course in order to keep a constant flow of communication going between the instructor and the students. This daily contact is so important in order to motivate the students to keep up with the work and to reduce the temptation to drop out. Conscientious, daily work constitutes the really the, the large part of the language battle in an online course, especially when we're talking about language learning. Students need to know this, they need to be informed of this, otherwise they won't do well in this learning environment. Now on the bright side, online language courses provide anytime, anywhere learning and uh, increase access not only for people with busy schedules but also for less commonly taught languages where uh, classroom instructors might be in short supply. Likewise, the strong textual components that predominate in this medium and persist on the screen make online courses very attractive to students who might be initially lost in coming to grips with all of the uh, oral demands of the modern communi communicative classroom. There's always trade-offs. It's important to realize that an online course exists of many components, online exercises, online activities, multimedia lectures, vocabulary lists, synchronous and asynchronous uh, communication. If handled properly, a student in an online course might even receive more intense and longer amounts of attention from uh, an instructor talking with an instructor than in a regular sit-down course where at best students get to participate maybe three times in an hour. The language profession is now beginning uh, to accept the idea that an online course can be a responsible way for a language program to offer uh, a language uh, to their students. Eventually, however, online learning should prepare a student to study abroad in a country where that language is spoken. To learn a language, students need it all. They need online learning. They need to have classroom contact. They need study abroad. They need contact with the culture. It's a long-term proposition where technology can have an important role as part of a comprehensive learning curriculum. And online learning should be part of that as well.